September last year, one of the biggest fatbergs in the world was found in the Victorian sewers below Whitechapel. It was 250 metres long. To give you a visual reference of the size of that monster, its length was the entire span of Tower Bridge plus an extra six metres. The Museum of London wanted a piece of it. So here it is, the last remaining part of the Whitechapel Fatberg, safely encased in not one, but two very thick glass boxes. The oils have been air dried, so it's almost like a rock now, but in its greasy grip, things like sweetie wrappers are sticking out. It's also hatched its own flies, and no one knows what's going to happen to it next, because nobody has ever tried to preserve a Fatberg before. It's very experimental, low temperature storage, freezing, um, storage in formaldehyde and we slowly worked through the options and ruled all of those out. It stopped letting off toxic gases now. The smell, in case you were wondering... Fresh fatberg smells like uh, rotting meats or rotting dirty nappies, um, but dried fatberg has um, a, a bit more of a smelly toilet sort of a smell. The Whitechapel Fatberg really took the term Fatberg, it's a London term coined by London sewer workers, entered the dictionary 2015, but it took that word and it made it global. So the media came from all over the world to see the novelty exhibit, but also because their cities have a similar problem. These fatbergs have been found all over London and all over the world uh, and I think it's a really good way of putting it on display and starting a difficult conversation about what we're we doing, what we're we doing to our city and uh, do we need to look at our own actions and think about how we might have to do things differently. It'll be on display at least until July, a stark reminder of our issues with waste in the metropolis. Wendy Hurrell, BBC London News.